This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Okay, so question, you ever be like 12 and be in a chat room and just hit it off with someone online? Just wanna just get you. Y'all laugh at the same jokes, have the yeah, same sure meme taste, titties, you know, stuff like that. You talk to this person for a long time and end up growing to like this person. But all you've seen of their face was their weird anime avatar. Now, usually that's where that very weird interaction stops. You're like 12, so you don't know what love really is. And about a week later, you're done talking to them or your parents find out that you're on weird chat room. But l let me push the envelope because that's what we do here. Let's assume that this internet crush, instead of just ending, kept going. Imagine that if over time you continued to get to know this person, like, like deeply well, to the point where you propose to them. They propose to you, like we would keep this even for all genders. And you do all that without ever knowing what they look like. So again, question, could you do that? But in reality, what I'm really asking you is, what matters more, a deep bond you made with someone or what they look like? Now, I'm not just asking that randomly because I'm sad all the time. No, there's a good reason for all of this, I trust me. Okay, maybe not good, because no, not good. Shallow, a very shallow reason. So I'm chilling with my roommate, Jack, and he's recently been dealing with some really common emotions. Uh, loneliness, uh -huh. What's the best way to deal with loneliness? Going out into the world and finding some thing to watch on Netflix. So while scrolling, we came across this show called Love is Blind. We were thoroughly shocked that it was the number three rated show out of all of Netflix. And typically you don't see reality shows doing that hot on Netflix. We were quite intrigued. Like what made this show so popular? And because we're lonely, uh, we decided to figure out why. And man, we were not disappointed. Basically couples get to know each other over a period of time to the point where they end up falling for each other. And then they propose. Only catch here, they don't know what the other person looks like. So I was like, oh, it's just middle school. It's the same situation I just explained earlier, but like for adults. Instead of being in an MMO, you're on like like Netflix. It checks off all the same boxes. You're getting to know someone you don't know at all, don't know what they look like, and you're on a platform for very desperate people. Like, I, it's pretty one-to-one. -one. But doing all that makes sense as a kid because you know, like, you're a kid. But as an adult, you gotta ask, yo, what's up with you that you gotta go to these extensive measures? And then you remember, so I gotta do, I gotta do, I gotta ask my roommate. Yo, would you do this? You know, ladies and gentlemen, he said, yeah. God, man, I didn't know you were this sad. And I mean, you gotta assume that someone would do this because they think that looks aren't that important. Like, yo, if we vibe so much that I wanna marry you, what you look like doesn't matter. So what's my stance on it? Looks matter. End of the video. I had a whole ass video called Wild Looks Matter. I have not gotten less superficial since, so. Like, that whole thing is like eating a sandwich with no bread. Like, okay, I could do it. That's fine if, like, if there's no bread, it, it, I, I can work with this. But, like, I like the bread. I feel like it holds it all together. And bear in mind, okay, if the situation was flipped, I wouldn't want just a bread sandwich. That, that's kind of weird. I'm not, I'm not that struggle yet. And I know what you may be thinking, well, Kurt, this is a different situation. This is an already established connection with someone whose looks you don't know. And you're right, that does make a difference. So what's my opinion then? Looks mad. End of the video. Yeah, it's, I'm not changing. I promise I'm not superficial though. Like, like I've always felt like this, even when I was a kid. See, I used to play this game called Wonder King. It was like, like lower class maple story. And I was legit into it. Like I was a part of a guild and everything. Like our guild master even had like a K-pop YouTube video of all of us. It was like, it was, it was real shit. And in our guild, was this girl. I think her name was Momo. Archer class, just my type. I love a girl that can kill me from long distance. Every day I remember logging in and getting to talk to her and I like really truly fell for this girl. But you know how middle school feelings work. Like I just I just thought her pixels were hot. So anyone who spent $2.50 in the Nexon store could have had my heart apparently. But one day, I don't know why, Momo reciprocated feeling and basically proposed to me because in game you could marry. And I was so happy that I said no. <laughs> I don't know what came over me, I guess. Like all of a sudden I grew a conscience, like a whole adult conscience. Like this person could be like a 30 year old truck driver from like Oklahoma. And then they're just married to a 13 year old black kid from the suburbs of Ohio. I'll be in a children's video game, but still. So in that moment, I realized the weight of this decision, even though there literally was no weight to it. But like, I, but for, I, I've known from a young age. <laughs> like it's not even a question of if you're good looking or not good looking. It's a question that I don't know what I'm gonna get at all. Like at least if I knew, I know going in and we could develop this relationship somehow. But with it not being a factor at all, it's, <laughs> 
I don't know what to do here. Like, I gotta know what you look like. The risk is too high. I mean, if you want proof of what I'm saying, think of a show like Catfish. If the person on the other end of that computer was actually hot, they'd probably be okay with whoever was whispering sweet nothings into their DMs. But instead, they aren't attractive and they try to end it because people don't typically catfish someone lower than them in the game, you know? And that was reflected in the show. Spoiler warning, uh... But only two of the six couples ended up together. Granted, that could be because they're rushing into marriage with someone on a television show and might be using the attention for social media clout. But, but still, I think it has a lot to say about online dating. So yeah, all right, connections are more important than looks, but the problem is that the looks still do matter. Now, me and Jack still feel away about our own relationship predicaments, but I don't think we're that desperate, or maybe he is. He, he still might be, who knows? Now, me and my roommate might not think love is blind, but there's no reason you should live blind to the amazing platform that is Skillshare. Ooh, I really appreciate Skillshare because they've daddied me a few times on this channel. It's because like a daddy, I love them, and y'all checking them out really helps out the channel, like honestly. It proves to them that I'm cool because I think they're cool. So y'all, can y'all be cool and like check? <laughs> Even if that wasn't the case though, I don't know why you wouldn't check them out in the first place when they're such a great platform. If you already didn't know, Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real prizes to create, and the support of fellow creative, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life, so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can learn and grow with short classes that fit your busy routine. Trying to up your photography skills, they got you. Trying to get better at your writing, they got you. Trying to be a better person in life. All right, they don't have that. It's like they do have it. Skillshare's got pretty much everything. Actually, that's a course I've been watching because I'm trying to get my life together and be like productive. So I've been checking out Real Productivity, How to Make Habits That Last with Thomas Frank and writing character-driven short stories by Yagoon Lee. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to the pricey in-person classes and workshops. And an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. And because I'm so nice, the first 100 people to click the link in the description will get two free months of Skillshare. So click the link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity with Skillshare. Oh, what's up, y'all? Yo, another day, another video. Hoped you liked it. If you liked that video, be sure to check out my last one. It's about my first and last Tinder date. Uh, it's pretty good. You should definitely go check it. Outside of that, I'm just, I'm just been doing my thing. There isn't much else to really talk about, honestly. Uh, with this whole coronavirus thing, like classes are actually suspended for a little bit, so I can work on videos. But don't expect me to get things out on time still because I won't. So yeah, check out those videos. So yeah, check out that last video. Uh, join my Patreon because I'm very poor and with the coronavirus, I uh, I need money for, for groceries. So please help me. But that's about it. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.